All right, number 24 on the Algebra 2 practice test. A chemical is added to water to a concentration of 15 parts per million. Readings are taken every one half hour to see how much of the chemical remains. The readings are recorded in the table, which function models the concentration of the chemical in T hours. All right, so we're looking for a function that models. That means we're just looking for an equation. And if we look at these, we can tell that this is all exponential. So we are looking for an exponential model. So the best thing to do is use your calculator. And if you use your calculator, we'll pull it up on the screen here. So if I have my calculator, I'm going to put in um, my numbers in my table and let my calculator write an equation for me. All right, so I'm going to go to stats and I'm going to hit enter because I want to enter my list. All right, so my list, my X's, or my T's in this case, would be in the first row. So I'm going to have 0, enter, 0.5, enter, 1, enter, 1.5, and 2. All right, once I enter each of those, then I'm going to go and put my concentration in the next column. So the second column correlates to the second row here in this table. So I'm going to put 15, 13.4, and all the way to the end. Now anytime you use your calculator to write an equation, you have to make sure that the same number are in each um, column. So if we look here, Make sure you've got them typed in correctly, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 2, and then 15, 13.4, 12, 10.7, and 9.6. If something's typed in incorrectly, it's not going to give you the correct equation. All right, now if we hit second quit, that saves that in our table. I'm going to turn on my diagnostics because it's going to tell me my correlation, which basically tells me how close this set of points correlates to the equation. So if you go to second zero or catalog and you scroll down to diagnostics, that'll let you turn on your regression feature, which lets you basically say if it's a good equation or not. All right, so we're going to do diagnostics on, hit enter, hit enter again, make sure it turns it on. And now I can go back to stat and calculate. All right, so first time we went edit and we put in our points. This time we want to calculate an equation. All right, so we already determined that this is an exponential model. So I'm going to scroll down through here and I'm going to find where it says exponential. All right, EXP regression. So I'm going to hit enter. It's going to pull from my list one and list two. That's what we want. That's where I put my points and then it's going to write an equation for me. So you can see your equation is y equals ab to the x power. In this case we're using t, but that's all right. So um, we're going to have a equals 14.99, b equals 0.7997 and r is negative 0.99999 so that is really good regression that means these points fall very close to this equation so we can determine that if we plug these numbers in here we're going to have y equals 14.99 and then we have times b, which is 0.7997, raised to the x power. In this equation, we use t. So if you come over here and look, and we do c of t just because 
it's a function notation, so we're using C of T. That's what it gives us in here. So if that's Y, Y is the same thing, Y or C of T. That makes it confusing right there, so I'll erase that. But anyways, we look at this, the only one that it can be is R.